Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Top 3 Best Mirrorless Camera Starting at number 3 Olympus Benny PL9 Kit Sure, full frame mirrorless cameras offer superior image quality but the larger sensors can get in the way of what the mirrorless camera was originally designed for in the first place. Compact size. The Olympus Penny PL9, built on the same micro four-thirds format as the Panasonic Lumix GH5, is easy to bring along anywhere thanks to the ability to fit in a small bag, purse, or even a jacket pocket. The three-axis image stabilization, while not Olympus best, is still very helpful for handheld shots. In practice, we occasionally shot shutter speeds as slow as half second and still got sharp results. Olympus also did well with the HDR and panorama modes, both useful features for outdoor landscape photography when you don't want to fuss with manual settings. When it comes to getting an affordable travel camera, the EPL9 is an excellent option, even if it doesn't technically live up to the image quality of larger sensor competitors. It's the ideal camera for anyone looking to step up from smartphone photography without getting anything too heavy. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Panasonic Lumix GH5. All the cameras on this list shoot video, and most even shoot 4K. But in most cameras, video is a secondary focus. Not so with the Lumix GH5. Where many DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have short recording limits for 4K, the GH5 will happily continue shooting until the card fills up or the battery dies, and it boasts smooth as butter 60fps 4K, to boot. Beyond that, it offers a number of video features targeting professional users, including 10-bit 4-2-2 recording, clean HDMI output, and an optional log gamer profile via paid firmware upgrade. While video is a big selling point for the GH5, the camera can hold its own among other micro four-thirds shooters for still photos. The 5-axis image stabilization plays a role for both videos and photos. The depth from the focus autofocus is nearly as quick as on the Lumix S1, and burst shooting is even faster, up to 9fps with continuous autofocus or 12fps with focus locked on the first frame. Like the hybrid photo video capabilities, the GH5's body feels more like a DSLR, mirrorless hybrid. It's smaller than most DSLRs, but there are plenty of physical controls, a great electronic viewfinder, and dual SD card slots. While you can buy cameras with larger sensors for the same price, the GH5 has the best mix of photo and video options we've seen yet and outclasses many cameras costing much more when it comes to pro video features. And number one of this list. Fujifilm X-T30 Mirrorless. Full frame cameras may be all the rage these days, but Fujifilm continues to prove there's plenty of value in the smaller APS-C format. The Fujifilm X-T30 isn't the cheapest camera you can buy, but it may just be the most valuable. It takes the best features from the impressive X-T3 and whittles away a few of the less essential options to make an affordable, but still very capable, camera. What you get is a camera with a less robust body and a few high-end features, but one that produces image quality that's just as impressive as the camera that costs almost twice as much. The camera can also handle 4K video quite well offering both Fujifilm's F-Log profile and 10-bit 4-2-2 output making it suitable for even some professional video applications. It's one of the best video modes we've seen in a camera that doesn't breach the four-figure price barrier. Fujifilm wraps all of that tech into inner body that's a mix of retro and modern, with both physical dials and a touch screen. Compared to the X-T3, the biggest things missing are the second SD card slot and weather sealing, but the X-T30 is a stellar shooter for the price. All of these items are available on Amazon.com. I have included all the links in the description. You can check out these links for latest price. Guys thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.